The distance between a hundred grand and a million is so big, Andy. Who told you that? Who told you these bullshit lies? Every one of you are a decision away today on this call from earning a million a year. Yeah, it's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard Today's gonna change your life. Swear to God on my life. You grab a pen, you grab a piece of paper, you will never be the same again. Swear on my life, you do not want to miss today. Today isn't a fired up meeting, today isn't a motivational meeting, today is a meeting to freaking change your life. That's what you want, listen up. I'm gonna to explain to you why all of you, everybody in this room, if you wanna earn a million dollars, listen up. Listen up, some of you guys are earning 100 racks, okay? You can wipe your butt with 100K. Do you understand inflation? You understand what, what it costs to live? What do you wanna do, rent an apartment your whole life? Today, this call is only for the one percenters. Let's just make this clear. Anybody that's not a one percenter, please leave the room. This isn't for you. I don't want to offend you. Okay, so you can, you can go. You're, you're dismissed. You can go get an orange vest and you can go work at Walmart. Okay, because they're hiring order takers right now. You can walk in there and get paid $13 an hour. You can live in that apartment. You can keep a car payment your whole life and never save any money. Go ahead. See ya. Bye. Quit telling us you want to be great and sell when you don't. You're a fraud. Now for my one percenters that stayed, can we ditch the phones, please? Leaders, owners, salespeople, everybody, all, everyone, ditch your phone. I'm not gonna freaking give you some motivational stuff today. I'm gonna give you tactical blueprint stuff that when this meeting is over, in 30 minutes, you will know exactly what to do to earn a million bucks. Okay, some people want to pay their bills and just go through life. I, I just, why'd you get in sales? <laughs> I mean, why, why? Like, why did you get in sales if you wanted to pay your bills and not get out of debt, not be financially free, not kick ass? Dude, you should have just got a salary and saved yourself the stress. Number one, I want you to write down teacher. Okay, they said when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. If any one of you right now are ready to change your life and you're really ready to be a great student, I'm a student every day. I'll learn from all of you. I want to explain two types of teachers real quick. You ready? Everybody write down teacher number one. Teacher number one is a theory teacher. Teacher number two is an applicant teacher. Now let me explain what a theory teacher is. I'm like, guys, in theory, like I haven't done it yet. If you were to listen to what I say, it should work. Does that make sense? Like in theory, like guys, I ain't made $2 million in sales yet, but if, if I was to do it, I think this would be the plan. Screw theory teachers. I'm out, man. Quit telling me shit I can do that you ain't done yet. I'm out. Applicant teachers, the only ones I respect. If you want my ears, I need to see you do it. Stop telling me to do shit you're not doing. I'm out. Okay, when I was 18 years old, I got into car sales. I would have loved to have gotten solar, guys. It didn't exist in, in, in 99, okay? I didn't see it anyways. It wasn't the solar boom. People was like, you can make 100K selling cars. They said you can make 100K. I'm gonna tell you this, my first year, I went all in, total immersion. I stuttered, I didn't believe in myself, I was an introvert, and I was a loser. Now. I don't know who else you could be or how worse you could be, but I was the worst, most unqualified person there was. But you know what I was? I was coachable. I was the one thing. They say hard work beats talent when talent don't show, don't show up. And I know this with all of you. If you can work hard, work your plan, and be talented, you can get whatever you want in life, and you can get it right freaking now. Now I want to tell you this, at 18, I've told you this before, and if I haven't, I need you to hear this. At 18, I made 100K. At 19, I made 220. At 20 years old, 20 years old, I broke my first 500K. By the time I was 23 years old, I made 850K selling cars. And I was freaking born a loser and I changed. How many of you guys right now want to change? You want to change? You're like, dude, I don't like me. 
I'm, I'm look I don't have pride I don't have ego I don't have entitlement I'm honestly disappointed at where I'm currently at in life right now I thought I'd be a little further write this down keep the chip on your shoulder keep this chip on your shoulder 25 7 365 don't you let it off if anybody around you is like come on man kill the intensity get rid of their ass bye stop freaking letting people fail get your shit together if someone is on your team your roster your downline whatever the hell you call it if you're a leader stop letting your people fail they aren't as good as they need to be because you haven't coached them you got to believe more man you got to be different you can't be like everyone else ah it's so hard to, it's so hard to find good people now shut your mouth man it ain't hard to find good people it's hard to find good leaders Okay, everybody wants to be great. Everybody wants to get the life they want. Okay, now listen, does everybody want to take over the world? No, but everybody wants to have a good life. And your job as a leader is to find the people that want to take over the world and take over the world with them. And then the rest of them, make sure they have the best life ever and you're the best freaking leader they've ever seen in their life. Those people will bring massive value to you and you can hire them in the masses. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I want you to write this. Build a plan. Now, what does that mean? That means if you're going to go out to work today, I need to know what your plan is. Wouldn't it be silly if I'm talking to Darian? Darian's like, man, I'm about to go hit the doors or I'm about to go do this. I'm like, okay, cool, Darian, what's your plan? He's like, I'm just going to work really hard, man. I'm like, no, 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 what, 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 what's the plan? Like how many doors? How many appointments? How many sits? How many? How many? Like, can you tell me how many? And if he can't tell me how many and tell me how he's going to do it, you ain't got a plan. He's doomed for failure. He's going to fail. There's no way he can win. Am I right? Okay. So everybody right. Build a plan. Now listen to me to reach your goals. By the way, what are your goals? The plan will be good enough to reach the goal in which you want to hit. Now everybody write down underneath that. To, to, to decide what plan we're going to do, we're going to have to train. Train that plan. Am I right? Okay, so you put training into this plan. Everybody write, I put training into it. You're going to decide what your plan is today. You put training into it. You put research. Research means I know a guy, he did the same thing as this, and he got X, Y, and Z. There, there's research behind that this plan works. Anybody know a plan that somebody's told them that they're a high produ producer and they're like, hey, this plan works? Yeah, that, that's called research. That means that dude really did that shit and that really happened. Okay, so you've trained it. You've done research. You've worked it, okay? You, you have found a plan that works, which means I've tried this and it worked. How many of you guys have tried something and it works, and then all of a sudden, like the next day, you're not doing that anymore, right? Because people get stupid, they get bored. I'm gonna explain this to you. This is where plan your dive, dive your plan. Listen to me, when this is over, in a minute, dude, you'll never be the same again, and you'll never ever deviate from the plan ever again in your life, okay? Now what happens? I need to tell you what happens. You got a plan. Okay, there's two people on this call right now. Those of you that don't have a plan and those of you do. If you don't have a plan, I would recommend when you get off the phone, when we get off this call, get with the leader and identify what your plan is. What time does your plan start? What time does it end? How long should each door take? How long should you continue to work? How many phone calls should you make? How long does it take to have an average conversation? How many presentations should you make a day? Do you guys get it? You understand your plan. I'm not here to make your plan today. I'm here to tell you that the, that the plan is the most important thing in your life. And the reason why you're not getting what you want is because of a, a lot of things, which you're about to find out. But number one is because you haven't built the right plan or if you built it, you're not working the plan, which is going back to you. Everything falls on you, not your company, not your family, not your customers, not the economy, all on you and all of that we can control. You know what I love? I love shit I can control. When someone tells me criticism like, Andy, you can do this, you know what I say? I say, is this a controllable or an uncontrollable? Like, like, can I control this? If interest rates go up, can we control that? No. Can we control the way that we present, the way that we sell, the way that we work and working our plan? Yes, that's freaking gonna push through. Who cares about the rates, man? 
Work with what you can control. Can you control the way you think, the way that you operate, your energy, mastering your mouth, the way you believe? Yes. Okay, now listen to me. What happens once you make a plan? Everybody write this down. Ready? You get tired. People get tired. They just get tired. It's something that happens. Okay? This is normal. <laughs> I, I built a nine-figure business tired. Tired people build bad ass empires. Bad ass paychecks. Tired people do. Yeah, they ain't rested. They're working, man. So they're freaking tired. People want to switch it up. I have no idea. Write this down. Switch it up. It means people get tired or people just want to switch it up. Like, bro, hey, what do you think, man? You know what? Instead of hitting doors at 10 or making the calls at 10, dude, why don't we just do them at one? Whoa! What the, you're just going to switch it up? Anyhow, give me one good reason why you should switch up that plan. What, because you're bored? That's why you're not making it. You get tired. You want to switch it up. It gets old. Everybody right? It gets old. You know what? Winners do the shit they don't want to do. It's always going to get old. Get used to it. Everybody write this down. Give me one good reason. You guys are going to make a plan when we get off this call. You're going to make one. Now, give me one good reason why we should deviate from the plan that we came up with that works. The plan that you trained, the plan that you researched, the plan that your positive will work. Give me one good reason why we should change it. And if you can't give yourself a good reason, you don't change it. Winning is doing what others don't want to do when you know it's the right thing to do. And I want to tell all of you right now, you are in the solar boom. If you want to be successful, you need to write out a plan right now. And you need to never deviate from it again unless you can give yourself a really good reason. And I want you to cut off everything outside of that. Plan your dive, dive your plan. Navy SEALs saying, what does that mean? So in Navy SEALs, what they do is that they go to, they go to train in the middle of the night a lot of the times. And they go in murky waters and they go what's called on bag. When they go on bag, it means you're going under the water. It's dark as shit. It's an unfamiliar terrain. It's cold as hell. And once you get under the water, it's scary. It, there's uncertainty, there's things that come up. You can never deviate from your plan. They teach them that when you get under there and you're extremely uncomfortable, everybody write this down. Create a solid plan right now. Create a solid plan. That is your goal when we get off this call. Hey, anybody that doesn't do this don't wanna win. Remember, this is only for the one percenters. Every one of you, when we get off, you're going to physically write out your plan and you're going to say, this is what I'm going to do now. Okay, you create a solid plan. When it gets uncomfortable, when it gets scary, when the temptation to deviate comes in, to not trust the plan, you don't change. I need discipline, boys and girls. I need discipline. You want to do big shit? Let me explain the difference between you and everyone else. Your plan and the discipline in which you enforce it in. Every one of you are a decision away today on this call from earning a million a year. The problem is when I say a million, a lot of you are making a hundred grand or some shit and you're like, the distance between a hundred grand and a million is so big, Andy. What? Who told you that? Who told you these bullshit lies? Dude. All you have to do is make a freaking plan and then not deviate from it and not change. How many hours are you going to work? What's your energy going to be like? When people say no, what are we going to do? Okay, what is it going to look like every freaking day over and over and over and over and over and over and over again? Most of you never get to the big compound effect of the hard work because you keep deviating from the freaking plan. You keep not showing up with the intensity in which you need to come with. Can you control all of this? Yes or no? Yes. What are you going to do when this meeting's over? Was this meeting today about getting you fired up? No, man, I don't want you to get motivated. Fuck, that only lasts a week and it's over. I want you to create a new mindset hijack my thinking every one of you you want it all still the way i think
take it. You don't have to be me. You just take the way I think, and if you got the balls to steal it, you're going to crush everyone. And you're going to give your family a life in which is amazing. You are in the solar industry. Are you the very best there is? And if you're not, will you become it or will you go and try another job? If you're going to get anything great in this life, you're going to have to become a freaking savage. The first thing to change is to say, I don't care anymore about what anyone thinks about me. I only care about, am I working my plan and am I doing what I want to do? Guys, you know when all the money comes in? When you understand that the only reason why you haven't been making what you want is because you haven't became who you need to become yet. That's it. Simple decision, guys, today. When we get off this call, we're gonna make a plan. Everybody write this down. When the expectations aren't being met, which means you're not earning what you want, your life isn't what it should be, the question is, is the plan that you made, did you train it? Are you the, are you the best at the plan? Did you research it? Does it work? If it works, keep doing the mundane stuff and do it, listen, I want you guys to work with so much passion and so much intensity and so much energy and with so much love that people question why you're doing this. The reason why the 99% don't do it is because it's comfortable to not work your plan. It is very uncomfortable to work your plan because your plan was made to make you successful and only uncomfortable shit being done gets you successful. Uncomfort pays. Comfort kills. Uncomfort pays. Comfort kills. Here's what I'll tell you. I need you to decide today without anyone else around who are you going to be? What is the plan going to be? And what's life going to look like from now on? And you're going to attack. And anybody that aligns with that mission can roll with you. And anybody that doesn't, peace, bro. I'm out. You guys aren't kids anymore. This isn't recess. You're an adult. This is your life. Quit wasting it. There's millions of dollars, millions with an M, waiting for all of you. My goal is to give you value. Value in which if you execute, you're dangerous. Value in which if you listen to me, listen, you get to become dangerous, earn what you're worth, and then, ready? Now you're the applicant teacher. What is your standard? What is your new standard? What will you accept? Nothing less than this. I want you to make a plan around that, a research plan, a plan that if you work properly, and a plan that if you train, you still gotta train it, you still gotta be the best at it. You're guaranteed that no matter what happens, no matter about discomfort, economy problems, anything else, you can push through with this plan no matter what and still execute, succeed, and be successful at, a, at, a, at the top 1% industry high level. I want you to freaking act different, think different. I want you to be making more money. And by the way, Lastly, I want you to be the example for the rest of the world for what a freaking winner looks like. Whether you sell solar for one more year or 10 more years, don't you dare go another day without being the very damn best. It's number one or nothing from now on. And you can control whether you're number one or whether you're nothing. It's all up to you now. No excuses, own your shit. Dude, go to YouTube instead of listening to music in your car and type in Andy Elliott and just listen to me teach sales training. Listen to me talk about mindset or listen to someone else that you want to plug into, whoever it is, okay? But stay plugged in. Keep this thing sharp. Never lose your edge. Never. Work hard to get it and never give it away, okay? Love you guys. Have a blessed day. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go torture the world. Let's go, guys. Let's get it. Hey, guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.